Welcome back to the shop guys. Back on Project Hank again today. Still waiting on my sending unit and filler neck for my fuel tank that I had built. I did do the straps though to hold it in on the bottom side. I still got to do the top part of it. But I did get my stainless steel eBay bought exhaust system here. I ordered some two and a half inch straight through stainless steel uh, glass pack mufflers for $79, basically 80 bucks a pair. All stainless, they're nice and they're really heavy duty. Um, straight through perforated holes and, and glass pack. So those will work good. This thing impresses me quite a bit. This is a two and a half inch U-fit stainless steel kit for 280 bucks. And I mean, you get everything here in the picture, but what I was really shocked at is basically everything is individually wrapped and it's kind of almost like Cosmoline or something on there. Like when you buy an old surplus gun, it's got some thick, thick oil on it, which is kind of going to suck because I'm going to have to wipe it all down before I weld it and probably should wipe all of it completely down before we start it or we'll smoke the place out but that'll be interesting to get into and see what bends we have and if it's going to work on the truck without having to come up with another bend of some sort but we're going to get to that in a little bit what i have here is some 35 to 48 fat fendered uh fender well headers for it and I kind of took a kind of took a chance on buying them. They looked like they would fit on it. I kind of measured them up, eyeballed them online here, basically by measuring the flange and how far out they went. And I put them on the truck, and they're pretty darn close. But I do hit when I turn the wheel all the way. So, being that they're only $110 a pair, I'm really not worried about doing a little work on them or possibly screwing them up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the flanges off take an inch out roughly an inch out up here that'll bring me inboard out here so basically this point here where it's touching will be in an inch so that'll gain me a little more room because you can see where it's hitting here if I come out an inch I'm actually got it like a quarter inch gap so that'll drive it in and gain me a little there and I'm just gonna bend the headers right up and then re-weld them into the flange that way I'll get everything kicked up basically level these pipes out straight out the car and that'll rise up and I'll have all the clearance in the world that I need for it. Both sides identical. They even they even accounted for the cylinder head offset. The pipes come out in the exact same place. The driver's side head is an inch farther forward and basically they made the other side an inch shorter so the dumps come out identical on both sides. So that's where I'm going to start off on it and I'm going to pull this driver's side header off, cut the flange loose and mock this side up and see where it goes from there. So I got my flange all cleaned out from the original welds that were in here and I just stuck this thing back together on the bench and basically just tipped this outside up like probably a good I would say half inch to three eighths angle over here so on the car that should get me up probably an inch or two out here so for the time being I'm just gonna leave it at this offset this side almost out at the bottom almost out at the other side of the flange and this side pretty much flush with this side of the flange I'm gonna put a few tacks on this and just go over to the truck and and see if that's all I need to do it if I need a little bit more, then I'm going to have to pull the header back out of the flange and probably put a, a slight miter cut on that and probably tap and roll the point. So if I cut it like this, the pipe actually gets bigger than the hole in the flange, so I'll have to end up rounding it in and tucking it in that way if I need more. But I think this might do it, so I'm going to put a few tacks on and we'll go try it out. So I am a lot closer now to where I need to be. I actually clear it all the way around, but at full lock on my turning, I probably got about 3 16 there, which isn't enough if you account for, if you go over a bump while going around a corner. I'm actually hitting right now. So I'm gonna go cut those tacks off one more time, and I think to resolve this now, seeing that I'm so darn close, I'm just going to cut uh, cut my tacks, pull the pipes out, and I'm going to cut 
probably three eighths to a half inch off the back pipe up straight down to nothing nothing off the front pipe and then angle cut it to the back uh, to a half inch off that'll take this whole outside header swing it back and then I should have more than enough room to make this clear almost there it was almost enough by doing that and you can see here the difference on the angle these pipes are coming more straight out and down here they're angling downward not a big deal one more time well I got my tubes marked out now I'm actually gonna drop a quarter inch off the whole thing basically taking a quarter inch off the front tube and then I went back and you can see my lines get bigger I went back to three quarter so I'll be dropping bringing the whole thing in a quarter because I'm cutting the front tube and then on the back I'll be three quarter instead of a quarter so that's gonna be a half inch inboard on the back which should make it all work out I'm gonna get these cut off and we'll weld it back in I got both of my headers welded up now plenty of clearance in the back they turned out awesome got all my welding done on the inside of the flange which kept the pipes all clean just like they were when I got them once again I took a half inch out of the back pipe which brought the header in at the back which pulled me away from the tire this way and I lifted them up and I got clearance because I came up higher uh, than the center line of my tire so I got more room and about an inch and a quarter there now that's gonna work great so I guess that just goes to show I guess order the headers for the right thing I, the only reason I really got these is, well, I thought they'd work. It's fenderless, and I mean, they were $110. I am really not too upset about having to cut them up. Um, so, yeah, these are 35 to 48 fat fender headers, fat fendered fender well headers, and they do not fit a 50 Chevy unless your engine is set back about two inches. Anyway, moving on, we're going to unbox this, lay this kit out on the floor, and see if we have the right bends to make everything connect from those headers out the back of the truck. So this is what you get in your $280 eBay special made in China do-it-yourself stainless steel exhaust kit. Um, looks like we got enough bends to work with. There's some uh, adapters over here if you want to do a crossover pipe so those will butt on the side of your big tubes going back and then they give you two different designs for for a crossover between the pipes one with a bend and one with straight if you can fit either one of those in there I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it in here I I guess we'll see how that goes if I can do it I'll put one in otherwise whatever but it looks looks like a pretty good kit got enough bends to make it work I think we'll see what happens it's all set up for clamping everything is got a really uh, like a four inch deep fla uh, flare on the end of half the pipes and then the other ones uh, there's a couple that don't have it on there at all like this one I would imagine that's intended for probably over the axle and then one of these would plug into that but it looks like a pretty good kit uh, pretty heavy wall pipe it's not super heavy but it's got some beef to it um, and the only other thing I can say is I got my gloves on and the reason that is is because like I said earlier it's soaked in like cosmoline oil or something and I mean the stuff is on there you can see how thick it's on there so before I even get started, because I already washed my hands twice dealing with this, I'm going to get a can of brake cleaner and wash all these things down because I am going to be welding my exhaust in this particular project. So I'm going to get that oil off and start making some cuts and see if we can make this kit work. so I kind of realized I'm jumping the gun here on doing this project I cut off two of these pipes here and, and started coming back to get under where I need to be and then I kind of laid out all the pipes and I realized that this kit is 
pretty much for like standard headers you're pretty much supposed to be coming like this and because I have fender wells on here I'm gonna end up kicking it in and then back which is actually I'm using another bend out here I had trimmed both pipes off like this one for this side and one for the driver's side and as I was staring at these pipes looking for my next one to cut I realized that the ones I cut were the only ones that match the angle for the hump to go over the rear axle. So instead of starting at the front, I laid out everything for the back. So that's my tailpipe section. And I know I need those two to come off the pipe once it comes off the header under the truck. I know I need to come in like that and then kick it up so the mufflers end up behind the frame so you're not seeing it from the outside of the truck when it's on the ground. So I guess maybe if I have any suggestions so far, lay out your pipes first complete on the floor instead of starting to cut stuff so basically this is going to get me to the back of the truck now i know that these four pieces here are all i really have to work with to get from my header in and kick it straight back or towards the rear of the truck so these ones here were pretty close to the ones pretty close to these ones that i had cut already but there's a little more bend on it, so these are probably going to be the ones coming from the, uh, from the fender well headers in to under the frame. So I'm going to give these a cut and try these ones out instead. Well, it actually worked out pretty good. I had two of these like 60 degree bends and two of these 90s, and I cut up two of them here for the passenger side, and it's going to work out great. That'll be obviously kicked up a little bit more, and then weld this on, and it'll be more like up here, and... That'll work perfect, and then basically the rest of my exhaust is laid out on the floor over here. I'm going to get these things tacked up and cut those other two off the same way as I did the passenger side and get them in position. Well, it's Monday now, and I came back in this morning and cut a few more pieces for my exhaust system here on Hank, and I got my driver's side matched up 100% to the passenger side same cut same angles and I laid out a few more pieces from the kit under the truck they do this offset bent one which worked out perfect for me and would probably work out perfect in most other cars with conventional headers on them to come uh, straight off the header and shoot up right behind the transmission cross member so that worked out really good perfect length it got me right behind my cross member here got about a half inch oh, I'm gonna probably pull a little more there but actually that would be pretty good half inch of uh, gap up there to my muffler and then I stood the mufflers up tall in here, which is going to work out great. It's always kind of hard on a four link to sneak the exhaust through between these uh, lower and upper bars and try to get around the coil over. And then on top of it, you got the exhaust, uh, I'm sorry, the gas tank in the back. So making it work is kind of tricky, but it looks to me like this is all going to work out pretty good. I'm going to start tacking this side together then. And I think we're going to work out perfect. We're going to be a little close to this bar here probably three eighths to a half inch but that's fine because the suspension right now is hanging all the way so as that goes up it's only going to get further away from the pipe so I'm going to start putting a few tacks on this getting everything level and clocked where I want it I know that front one was a little crooked before it's kind of hard to see but I'm going to straighten that bent one out so it's you know nice and vertical on 90 tack that get the muffler 90 tack that and see if this tailpipe area fits So this is where we're at so far. I got my muffler in the position and got a good weld up on the front there. And I also put a hanger in. Come on, focus. I also put a hanger in the back side here. Got my clamp to hold that up. And I cut a little tab up top and welded it off to the framing on the bed and bolted the hanger on. So this is all nice and solid, locked into place. Originally, for going out the back of the truck, I wanted to run them straight out the back here next to the tank. Well, that's not going to happen. I don't have quite enough bends to sneak around, and that's mostly because my fuel cell is hanging low over here, and, and, and because of the four link, basically. It's tight, but that worked out really good. I got about a quarter inch between my upper bar and the pipe, a little more than a quarter inch. This bar can only travel upward from here, so it'll never go lower, and the farther up it travels, the more space you're going to have between it and the pipe. So that's good. Back here, I got about quarter three-eighths there 
and then I'm just going to shoot them right out the side here. Now I was thinking about this, if I didn't have those fender well headers and I wouldn't have had to use two elbows up here to get from the uh, outside of the frame rail in, I kind of looked at the angle of that one pipe on the inside and if I would have had that one extra bend, I probably could have welded that all up here down in this corner and made this shoot straight out the back. So if you have headers underneath the truck, you probably could have made that work in this truck to come out straight out the back. But the uh, customer, the owner of the truck, actually did want me to run them out the side originally, and I conned him into putting them straight out the back. So I guess he gets what he wanted in the first place, angled out the side. And there's nothing wrong with that either. So I'm all fit up right now. I'm going to tack my tailpipe into position here at this angle coming out the back, and then get the other side all mocked up, try to mirror image this side to the driver's side, and go from there. Alright, well I got my driver's side all tacked together now. I got my pipes cut off at, at a slash cut angle here like this. I'm going to end up coming off the bottom of the box here with a lower valence and uh, I'm going to wait till that's on to trim these off to where I exactly want them. I'm also probably going to have to notch into that lower valence just a little bit uh, just to go around the pipe because I'm probably going to come down about, I don't know, four inches off the back here to hide all the frame and all that stuff. But it worked out really good. I got everything mirror imaged really nice. Mufflers are all at the same angle, the hangers are all in the same spots. It worked out good. I guess, really, in my opinion, if you were going to buy this kit and you were, don't have uh, access to a welder and you wanted to clamp all this on your vehicle, I'm going to say this much. If you had headers that came out underneath and you came straight back and you had like a leaf spring style rear suspension where this four link wasn't all going to be in the way, and obviously I got my fuel cell hanging down here in the back too. I think if you had a leaf spring truck or some, some sort like that, I think you could get away with clamping this entire kit on the car and it would work just fine. Just trim the pipe down, clamp it where the, you know, the flares are, where the expansions are, clamp it all together and I think it would work. But in most cases, you're going to need probably a welder to put this thing together to make it right. On the plus side, there's plenty of pipe. I had everything I need to do it. I did have to come out at an angle in the back. No big deal, and I probably could have got these sh shots straight out the back, worked around the fuel tank and out, if I wouldn't have used up my elbows up here for coming inboard from those fender well headers. Otherwise, I'm going to say this, they give you plenty of pipe. I think it'll work on most, in most cases, clamping it together. Like I said, if you don't have the four link, you've got plenty of leftover pieces and parts here. Uh, the crossover pipe also is going to fit in here pretty nice right under the tail of the transmission so I'm gonna put that in too I'll probably leave it out for now until I weld everything else on the exhaust but yeah it seems to be worth the money but I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a lot easier if you not easier but you're probably gonna be able to make it look a lot better if you have a welder and capabilities to put it together like that so anyway that's the welded up you weld it eBay exhaust system I'll put on Project Hank. I'm going to finish welding this stuff up off camera. And next time we come back, I'm going to end up remounting the uh, front end back on that front chassis. Getting the radiator and everything in, getting the steering hooked up. And then pull everything apart, get the chassis painted, reassemble it for a final time, and get it wired again and running. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.